everybody, Ellen here. I am currently homesick from work. Um, so today is actually Friday and I was home yesterday as well because I puked my guts out <laughs> the, night, uh, the night before, the night Thursday. So that was a fun night. I didn't sleep at all because I puked all night. So, huh, fun times. Um, the pros of being a kindergarten teacher. Um, so currently at home for the second day in a row. I am bored out of my mind. Also my stomach kind of hurts but you know got some reading done. So I thought I would tell you guys what I've been up to while being extremely bored. Um, so I read um, The Wicked and the Divine by Gillian McKelvey, Wilson and Carls um, and this is a graphic novel about like Twelve gods that come to the earth every ninety years, and then they live for like two years before they die. Um, so I read this one. I loved the art style, but I didn't really like. I mean, I liked the premise of the plot, but I didn't really like the execution of it. So I ended up giving this one two stars out of five. And then I also ended up finishing A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, which I've been reading for like the entire month of March because it's huge. Um, so I had like 25 pages left of this, so I finished it yesterday when I was home. And if you're wondering why it's so wrinkly, because I was in a hurry for the bus, going to work in the morning. I slipped on the freaking ice spot and I had my book in my hand and it just flew. And a dust jacket came off and this landed in the biggest pile of effing snow and, you know, exhaust shit in it. So the dust jacket is wrinkly, it's sturdy on the side, and hang on your hat here. Um, it's very dirty there and the Perry birds are like wrinkly and it breaks my heart, but I'm not sure I want to repurchase this. I mean, I do want a copy that is not ruined, but at the same time, these books are really, really expensive in the hardcover, so I don't know if I want to pay that for a book again. But anyways, I had 25 pages left. Love this series, and I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars, and I think everybody knows what this book is about, so... I don't need to tell you guys about that. And then I've also read first and then my Emma Mills. And if you followed my booktube channel for a while, maybe you know that I've talked about Foolish Hearts a lot by Emma Mills, which I loved. And this is actually her debut. Um, I did not love it as much as I loved Foolish Hearts because that one I gave 5 out of 5 stars. But this one I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars, so it's still really good. Um, we follow this young Devon and her cousin actually has to live with her because, you know, different reasons which I'm not going to spoil. And then we also have this jock, um, Ezra, which she, after a while of course, starts to liking. And that's pretty much all you can say about it because, spoilers, but it's really cute to see a lot of um, Jane Austen references if you like her. Um, and like amazing character development for several characters. Uh, I really like the family dynamics and everything like that, which is <laughs> pretty much goes for Emma Mills in general, I feel like. Um, but yeah, 4.5 out of 5 stars. So those are the books I have been reading um, while homesick for, you know, yesterday and today. And I also... I was on page like 169 on this one before um, getting sick and I've been reading it today as well. Now I'm about halfway through. I'm on page 317 out of 599. So I really hope to finish it today but I do have a book haul to film today which is supposed to go up today as well. So we'll see how it goes but I am currently reading Illuminae and this is written by Emma Kaufman and Jay Kristoff which is the first book in the Illuminae Files. You guys know I've gushed about this series <laughs> for so long. Um, I'm planning to reread this, obviously I am, and also reread Gemini by them um, because today my pre order finally came. Its release date was uh, March 13th, but I didn't get it until today, which is March 16th, which I probably forgot to say. But, anyways, but it's here, it's Obsidio by, you know, Amy Kaufman, J. Christoph. Um, not the biggest fan of the cover though, I feel like the greyish looks really, really dirty. Looks like it's been in the sea and it's like mold or something, I don't know. Um, 
would have preferred, you know, a dark green, moss green or something like that. But I really, really, really want to read this one because it was my, one of my most anticipated releases for this year. So I definitely want to read this one. But um, I'm going to finish Illuminate and then Gemini and then I'm going to read this. And we'll probably be really quick because of the format. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. Um, and I have to eat some food and then hopefully be able to eat some food, I don't know. My stomach is in an uproar. Um, but I'm going to do my book haul and I'll show you guys a little bit what I have uh, bought um, later on today when I'm actually going to film it. Look who's been keeping me company. You can barely see her, but she's there. And Luna actually had surgery on Wednesday um, because she got castrated, you know, taking out the uterus and everything like that. And luckily enough, she's been doing really, really well. She hasn't been licking it or anything, which is that why she's not having a cone on her head. But she's doing really well. She's actually acting like she's doing better than me. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, fine. Leave me then. So I just finished um, doing my book haul and as you can see I have 18 books and I'll tell you guys what it was. Um, so we have Och varje morgon blir vägen hem längre och längre uh, by Fredrik Backman Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson part 1 actually Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Croy by Jessica Townsend. Legend by Mary Lou. Batman Nightwalker by Mary Lou. The Empress by S.J. Kincaid. Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland, A Little Golden Book. First and Then by Emma Mills. The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levensella. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. And then one of my most anticipated releases, which is Obsidio by Emmy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And the last one is a graphic novel called The Wicked and the Divine by Gillen McKelvey, Wilson and Cowles. So those were all of the 18 <laughs> books I purchased none of which were on sale because you know reasons <laughs> and that's a shitload of books so now i think i might take some instagram photos of it i don't know it depends if i'm up to it i'm getting kind of tired i'm not feeling 100 percent okay and also you know talking for like 20 minutes trying to record this haul but we'll see how it goes but yeah talk to you guys later bye so I just recorded some videos, which is why I have a shitload of books on here. Ignore my messy, messy desk. Um, but in this pile, I have the top five books I want to read um, during spring, like the most. I want to read all of the books, obviously. Then we move to this pile, and this is actually um, technically there's one book that is in the pile because I have as an ebook. But this is the pile for uh, the top six um, best books I read during winter, which was December, January, and February. And these were my favorites. So we have. The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan, A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, War Cross by Mary Lou, Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, and Renegades by Marissa Meyer. And we also had um, <clears throat> Love Life and the List by Casey West, which is supposed to be between Foolish Hearts and War Cross. And then you have the order of this amazing list because there's amazing books. So I would. 
I was I wanted to be productive yesterday but I uh, wasn't really um, so I didn't read a lot technically I read a lot but it was in the same books I didn't feel very much um, but I did finish reading Illuminae by J. Kriff Staff and Amy Kaufman so that was amazeball so I finished reading that one and then today when it's Sunday I've finished reading nothing um, but I've read about 82 pages in Batman Nightwalker by Mary Lou so this is a really short book it's actually like 250 pages so hopefully I'll be able to finish it like tomorrow I wanted to finish it today so so badly but I didn't so I only have myself to blame but definitely want to finish it tomorrow and then I also started reading The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, which was actually a book that was on my TBR for the month. So far I've read one book that was on my TBR, and that was A Conjuring of Light. But I have read none of the other four. So I really need to get on this, and I've read the first two chapters, so I'm like on page 17, 18 or something like that. But I do like it so far, and it's gorgeous, so I definitely look forward to continue reading it when I'm done with Batman Nightwalker. And then, since I did all some books on, um, you know, Friday, then I, of course, needed <laughs> that, um, no, I actually started yesterday night. It was, like, after 12, so technically it was Sunday, but whatever. But I started reading The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan, which is book one in the Kane Chronicles. I've read about 30 pages, already loving it. I'm sold Egyptian uh, mythology I don't really know a lot about so I'm looking forward to learn some more <clears throat> but yeah those are the three books I'm currently reading I really do need to start reading Gemini because I haven't even started and I need to start that so that I can read Obsidio like this year you know <laughs> so yeah better get on that um, but other than that I've just pretty much you know recorded two videos I just showed you guys and written some things for my blog which have been really bad at. but now I'm at least healthy again so I'm going to go back to work tomorrow so that once again means less reading time but we'll make do I guess um, but now I'm going to try to get some editing done for my favorites for the winter I don't even know what I'm going to call that that's a working title um, but I'm going to try to get some editing done of it and then I'm going to read and then I'm going to go to bed um, because I started at 8 a.m. tomorrow and I need to get the cat her medicine and stuff like that before going to work. So, got some shit to do in the morning. <laughs> but, yeah. Mm -hmm.